Okay, here is the review for lesson six through nine, unit two, page 15, Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory, book one. I'm gonna try to make this relatively short, so let's try to keep it under five minutes. Here we go. Fill in the correct number. How many half notes equals a whole note? That is gonna be two. How many quarter notes equals a whole note? That's gonna be four. How many half notes equals two quarter notes? That's gonna be one. The duration of a half note is longer or shorter than a quarter note? Longer. When the notes are written on or above the third line of the staff, stems extend circle one upward or downward? That's gonna be, oop, yep, downward. <laughs> okay, music is divided into equal parts by bar lines. A blank is written at the end of a piece of music, a double bar line. Okay, the upper number of the time signature indicates how many blank are in each measure. Okay, that's beats. The bottom number of the time signature indicates what night type of note receives each beat or the beat, I guess. Actually, let me check that. That's kind of seems weird that the answer would be the. I guess, okay, so it receives one beat. I guess that makes sense. My mistake, cheater answer key. All right, all right. When a signature contains four as the top number, it means four, that it means four beats in each measure. Okay. When a time signature contains a four at the bottom of the number, it means a quarter note receives one beat. Remember, I always think of it as top number asks the question how many, bottom number asks the question what kind. So how many? Four. What kind? Quarter notes. Kind of, I feel like that's an easier way to do it. Okay, this symbol is called a half rest. In 4-4 four, four time, rest for two beats. This is called a whole rest. In 4-4 four, four time, rest for four beats. This is called a quarter rest. In 4-4 four, four time, rest for one beat. Draw four quarter rests on the staff. Um, it's just kind of like down, out, down, swoosh, one, two, three, swoosh, zigzag, zig, swoosh, zigzag, zig, swoosh. That's how I do my draw two half rests. Remember, it's always going to be on the C, whether it's a half rest or a whole rest. So the C space, if we're thinking treble clef. So there's your half rest. There we go. And draw one whole rest right there. There we go. In the example below, draw the treble clef and 4-4 four, four time signature. Okay, so the clef comes before the time signature, so let's get our clef in there first. And 4-4. Four, four. Okay, make sure you're paying attention to stem directions, okay? Add the stems where necessary and write the beats under the notes. So here we go. One. It's going to be one, two, three, four. Boom, boom. These are half notes, so one, two, three, four, they each get a beat, or each get two beats. Stems going up here, it's gonna be again, one, two, three, four, so those are quarter notes. Half note, that's gonna be one, two. Here's that half rest, that's gonna be three, four. Now we've got the stems going down because it's above the middle line. One, two, three, four, write the count in, two, three, four. Stems going down again, half notes, so one, two, and then three, four, they each get two beats. Then here, quarter notes, one, two, three, four, right, your count's in, one, two, three, four, my stems are getting a little too long there, and then a whole note gets four beats, one, two, three, four, that's the whole thing. So make sure you check your answers, and hopefully uh, make sense and potentially answers any mistakes or questions you might have. Add bar lines and a double bar line to the example below. Count and clap, say and clap, 
write the names of the notes below the staff. So there's a lot of directions here. I'm probably not going to be able to finish this video in five minutes, but here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, and let's just do the bar lines first. So the one, two, three, four. So each measure has to have four beats. One, two, three, four. That's a whole note, so that's four. One, two for the half note, three, four for the quarter notes. One, two, three, four for the half notes. Draw another bar line right there. One, two, three, four. And let's get our double bar line in there. Make a thick one. And then there you go. All right, so we did that. Our bar lines and a double bar line. We did that. Next direction. Count and clap. Okay. So here we're going to go. One, two, three, four. 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 Done. Okay? So I would recommend going back and doing that and practicing your rhythm reading and making sure that you can do that accurately and you understand how all these rhythms go and you're not getting tripped up by any of them. Okay. Um... Now, say and clap, we can skip that and pretty much uh, write the names of the notes below the staff. So here's the names of the notes. A, B, C, D, E, E, F, E, F, A, E, D, 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 C, C, B, A, B, C, A. There we go. All right, fill in the missing beats for number 14 with notes in the second space by adding only one note in each measure, okay? So in, so here we go. That's gonna be one, two, three. So there's only one, one possible note that you could do here if we're only doing one, and that's gonna be a quarter note. Couldn't be a half note, because then you'd have five beats. Here we go, one, two, it's got to be a half note, three, four. It couldn't be a quarter note because then you're still missing a beat. You'd only have three beats in the measure. One, two, three. It's got to be a quarter note because don't have room for a half note. Don't have this last one. Can't be a quarter note. Can't be a half note. It's got to be a whole note because that takes up four beats. All right. Next one. Fill in the missing beats with rests by adding only one rest in each measure. Okay, so a half note here which means we still need two more beats, so that's got to be our half rest. All right. This one, it looks like it's going to have to be our quarter rest. Zig, zag, zig, swoosh. Here we go. That's going to be one. It looks like we got a nice spot here. One, two, three total beats, so it looks like we're missing one beat, so that's got to be our quarter rest. Zig, zag, zig, swoosh. There we go. And this is going to have to be the whole rest. So on the C line, or C space rather. Let's put that coming up from the top. And there's your whole rest. Try to keep the review short. Uh, check your answers. Make sure everything's good. Go back and check anything that was confusing and uh, have fun studying your music theory.